Hey everyone, it's Austin. Welcome back to day 34 on my journey to 2000. I'll be playing a rapid game on chess.com 10 minutes every day until I reach the goal. I'm on a little bit of a winning streak right now. Let's see if I can keep it up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into today's game. All right, guys. I actually just recorded a full episode and a full game without my audio by accident because I just got new headphones and the program defaulted to the mic headset or the headset mic instead of my actual mic. So there was no audio on the whole thing. So I'm going to run you through the analysis real quick. Um, so it was London where he started with the copycat. I went for an early C4. Um, this is usually my response against early copycat stuff and early queen b3 stuff putting the pawn this is known to be better for white because of this b pawn push okay so this was a mistake because i was supposed to go here first because he can go c5 to break up the pawn structure and in this position i can take back with the pawn versus in the previous position i would have to move my bishop back because this pawn is hanging i can't recapture with uh this e pawn or sorry this d pawn so then he played a6 and i'm going with my b pawn push that i was previously explaining number three this was a blatant mistake i was going for this pawn not even thinking about him taking this knight just playing too fast he captured went after this pawn he defended this was a mistake um i said that there was one thing that i wanted to take away from this game it was b4 um it was something that I missed kind of throughout the entire game. Um, obviously, it's pinned to the rook. So playing b4 in this position pretty much wins the pawn. Um, and I did not see that. So this was a mistake for that reason. Going for the kingside expansion to negate the bishop. I missed that. Same idea there. And then just blew open the center. And then I pre-moved recapturing with this without thinking. Which is a blunder because he just takes this. Um, whereas this was recapturing with check and then I hang on to this pawn, but so I'm losing here by a hair, but after his knight c5 move, that was actually a mistake. Now I can get in with my knight, push the pawn, and then this was a mistake. Um, the reason that rook c1 is a better move is, I have it in the analysis here, but there was like a long computer line where... If I go rook c1 and he goes knight here, then I can go, sorry, bishop here, and he needs to give up his knight because he needs to defend this diagonal, and it was like something that him and I entirely both missed. But instead, he goes knight here, which is a complete blunder because I have this check, which removes the defender of the knight, so then I take it, he attacks my knight again, take this rook, Recapture with the king. And then the rest of the end game, I was kind of just trying to play off of the um, fact that I had this this advanced D pawn and I was going to try to set up some checkmating ideas and just some, some general attacks on his back rank because the pawn covers these two squares and the bishop covers this square. Um, so in this position, I calculated the sequence where it was like here, pawn here, bishop here, rook here, and then, you know, rook here, and then I would take, and then he could take this, and then I would take this, and I saw that position, and I saw it as better for me because I still felt like I was able to attack his king. His king was extremely vulnerable, and he couldn't push this this pawn because ultimately my g pawn would defend it so i calculated all of that and then got out of the air and instantly played this move which was just a complete freaking blunder i mean i literally every single sequence that i calculated started with this move and then i mean it happens you know but then he took and this is technically a draw so I just took this to threaten checkmate because of what I said before, these squares are covered and he just hung checkmate. So <laughs> I checkmated him. 
so that was the game that I just played. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and record a whole nother episode for you guys. So you can have my live commentary, live reactions. All right, guys, I wanted to start before I re-recorded um, just to point something out. I mean, I'm over the moon about this. I'm over 1650 at the moment. I feel like I'm definitely getting pretty lucky, but, you know, wins are wins. Um, I'm on a win streak. I have seven games in a row that I've won. So without further ado, let's play another 10 game and let's see what we can accomplish against a 1648 from France. We're going to play the Karo Khan. So we have a Tartakower. Potentially. Interesting move order, but still ultimately all the same moves. Gonna pin this knight while I can. Hang on to the pin. And we're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. Um, I'm not sure what my best move here is. Hmm. I feel like it's this. Could it perhaps be this? That's an interesting idea. Hmm. Perplexing. I think that this is just my best move. Um, but then he, he can go here after the queen moves, obviously. So maybe I'll go here and then I'll go here to go here. I don't think that's right. Here, there, I don't... Am I missing something? Why is he going there? Can I just attack that? So now that knight doesn't have a way home. Is there a way for me to attack that knight? It's probably way too precarious for me to try to attack that knight. So if I go here, he takes. That doesn't work. If I go here, he goes back. There, we don't want that. So there, there, there. Don't really feel like he's making any threats on my king side. Then he can go there. Oh, I'm not sure. Idea to go here and then here.
He really wants to attack me, huh? If I go there, he has to do something about checkmate. He can go here. So that's a that's a bad idea. So that tells me I should probably go here to step out of this. not overly happy about my time that I'm spending on the clock right now. I need to go here. Okay, that's fine. This was probably hasty, probably needed to go back to avoid this. So if they if they're there can't do that because it's checkmate. Or he, sorry, there, there. Th oh my goodness. There, 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 there. It's not great. Okay, let's go here first to prevent any of that. Well, no, does that actually prevent it? Because if I, if he goes, if I go there, then he can go queen there. And then I guess, I don't really want my king in the corner. Trying to play faster? Let's bring my knight to where it's belonged to this entire game on this square. No, I don't want to try to flush this queen into this, this square. So I'm going to go there first. I would love to be able to get this diagonal open so I could go here and set up some, some pin ideas. This knight is actually pretty important where it is right now. Because the knight where it is right now prevents any bishop here nonsense. I think the move is to go for a queen. I think the idea, the best idea here is to go for a queen side expansion to try to get rid of what that bishop is up to. So he's renewing the threat of this.
What if I just go here, man? What if you just leave me alone? That'd be great. Because, quite frankly, that stuff's starting to piss me off. The queen there was also a good move because it blocked my rook from infiltrating. Yeah, I kind of saw this move coming. I just simply have to go back and then here. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to play the move that I know I need to play. I just simply have to go back. I just hung my queen. Oh my god, guys. What a mess. What a mess. I can't believe that I just did that. Well, there goes the win streak, boys. What a mess. Yeah, I mean, like, it's all bad right now. I'm going to play it out just to try to be a pain. I can't believe that I did that. Probably a perfectly equal position. I needed to go there. I needed to go queen d8. Uh, I got all kinds of kerfuffled from the... Uh, from the loss... I meant from the recording of the non-audio video. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. We all make mistakes. I mean, I have no moves, <laughs> obviously. Um,
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is clearly winning, guys. I'm clearly going to win this game. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I promise I'm going to win. Easiest game of my life. Wow. You're not even going to let me have any fun, bro. What is the meaning of this? Whoa, come on, dog. Just take it easy on me. I feel like this is kind of sad that you need to make another queen to checkmate me. I'm not gonna lie to you. This guy needs 23 extra points of material to checkmate me. Everybody make fun of him in the comments. I have faith in you. You can do it. Holy smokes. Please. <laughs> All right, guys. That was a big yikesies. I thought that we were past the, the phase of one move blunders. So this is an inaccuracy. Just simply go here. I know that the queen side pawn expansion is definitely an idea. C5. Oh, that's disgusting. I mean, are you serious? That's disgusting. Who the hell plays that in an opening? Yeah, I, I saw this G5 move, but it's like... Who in their right mind is playing that? This is the best move, because if here, there, and it doesn't work, and just trade the queen. Oh, yeah, this makes sense. This makes sense. And if just back. Just repeat. Engines like just repeat moves. It's a draw, bozo. This is an inaccuracy. This, this, this. This is a mistake because I needed to move out of the way of what was coming. Okay, and. Oh, okay, and same thing. Threaten the queen trade because they can't take this when the queens are uh, seeing each other. That makes sense. 
and this was a mistake. Okay, but I, I thought about this just to distract the queen, but like when it just takes, then what? Knight e3. That's disgusting. I obviously did not see that. Yeah, big blunder. Just needed to go queen d8 and it was uh, semi-equal. The rest of it, there's no point in analyzing. All right, guys. Well, there's the end of the winning streak. We got seven in a row and I ended at 16.50. Oh, poor me, poor me. I'll take it every time. All right, well, thank you guys very much for tuning in, and I will see you tomorrow.